It's a major blow for Indian Premier League as the Supreme Court suggests that two IPL franchises, that is Chennai Super Kings and Rajasthan Royals, be kept out of IPL 7. Now remember, the owners of both the franchises have been accused in the IPL match-fixing case and the Justice Mudkal Committee, which was probing into the entire scandal, has found Chennai Super Kings promoter Gurunath Mayappan and Rajasthan Royals promoter Raj Kundra guilty of match-fixing. Now the Apex Court has also set a 24-hour deadline for the BCCI President N. Srinivasan to resign from his post, suggesting that some cricketer of Sunil Gavaskar's calibre should take over as the BCCI chief. Now, Ridham Bhardwaj uh, from our Times now joins us uh, with more details on this right outside the Supreme Court um, and joins us now. Ridham, explain to us the implications of the court order first and was there any mention of MS Dhoni, who remember also has a stake in India's immense? A three-pronged proposal has been given to the BCCI, which they have to consider. One day's deadline has been given to them by the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court says, number one, CSK and Rajasthan Royals will no longer play in the IPL. Number two, they said that Srinivasan should be stepping aside. And in the meanwhile, there should be Sunil Gavaskar or an experienced cricketer who should be the acting president of the BCCI. Number three, they said there should be no employee of India Cements that should be a part of the BCCI. These particular observations and these particular proposals coming from the Supreme Court only after Hari Salve, who appeared for the petitioner, having completed his arguments, they had stated that they will also pass an interim order at 10.30 tomorrow. What's extremely crucial is the Supreme Court took it upon themselves to give Srinivasan time on Tuesday to give a proposal. Today a proposal had been given by N. Srinivasan and his lawyers, but clearly that proposal seems to be something the court has not taken into consideration for now. They've given, in fact, a, sub, a proposal to uh, Srinivasan as well as his team of lawyers in the BCCI to answer back by tomorrow. It's going to be seen as a big blow to N. Srinivasan because the court has also said there should be an acting president. Meanwhile, till the final verdict in this particular case comes out as an interim measure. What's also extremely clear is this particular case is now also talking about MS Dhoni as he has been mentioned by Mr. Salve. Very clearly he has said that the Indian cricketer uh, did not give the correct statement before Justice Mudgal. He also said that at this point of time there's a conflict of interest because MS Dhoni was the team cricketer of CSK. At the same time he was also a part of the India Cements. Conflict of interest being raised here as well and finally he also asked a question on whether CSK should should be suspended. After all these hearings by Mr. Sarve, finally the top court has said they will pass an interim order tomorrow, also given a proposal to N. Srinivasan. All eyes really now on the BCCI on what they will say tomorrow before an interim order is passed by the top court. It's not the same thing that the whole game is bad. There were some incidents before. The game is very great. The game is going to be going. In every life, there is something that happens in life. It has to be right. Whatever it is. We have an opportunity to do whatever we can to ensure that the game is involved in all of this. The Supreme Court has taken the decision of the Supreme Court. It seems that the Supreme Court has taken the decision of the Supreme Court. It seems that the Supreme Court तो इसलिए श्रीनिवासन को जब तक इसका वर्डिक्ट आता नहीं तब तक उन्होंने वहाँ पर रहना ये उचित नहीं होगा।